this ticket is from uh, Wancy Bolante. Uh, thank you very much for submitting it. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. It says MFA. And it says company implementing MFA to our system, but I do not know how to create one. Please help. So every time you're not like, it's okay. Every time you're not familiar with what some acronyms mean, in this case, MFA, you can always just do a Google search, search the web for it. But in this case, MFA stands for multi-factor authentication and it can be set up in multiple ways. It depends if you're the person who's creating or setting up multi-factor authentication in the system. You know, if this is, I'm not sure, it kind of seems like your company, it says company implementing MFA to our system, but I do not know how to create one. It almost seems like you're in charge of setting this up. Depends on for which system, that's the question. Depends for which system. Um, oh yeah, of course I need to sign a, assign a ticket to myself. Depends for which system. I can show you how it's done in uh, in Office 365. You can do this if you have access to it. Now, if this is a multi-factor authentication system that is proprietary to your company or some other third party, then you would have to be more specific and tell me which one it is because I don't know how to create one either because I don't know which system you're talking about in this sense. Um, and, and I mean that in the nicest way. Now, if you're just somebody who's going to be given or forced to use MFA, multi-factor authentication, all that is is, you know, before you can log into something, it requires you to put in a, for example, security code um, which could be a randomly generated number or it could be a text uh, a text to your phone sent so you know uh, whenever you try to log into something before you can log in it has to verify that it's you so it tests it sends a code to your phone and with that code you have to add on top of your password so you can log in so it's a multi-factor means there are multiple ways or multi-factor, it's not multiple ways, but multi-factor is in, you need more than the password to log into something. That's what MFA stands for. That depends on that. So, all right, like I said, I'm gonna show you in Office 365 how it's done. Okay, so here is an example. I'm literally logging into Office 365 and it has, has a multi-factor authentication. You probably heard that, you probably heard that ding. And what that did was open up my Microsoft Authenticator, which is on my phone. In this case, all it does is just looks at my face, verifies my face with the face authentication and allows to log in. So all I did was just look at my phone and it, and it did it, you know. Um, otherwise, you may ask, um, it may ask you to put in the code, the website itself. So in this case, I have a Microsoft Authenticator installed in, on my phone and the way I authenticate is just by look at it. It just verifies my face. And you've seen how it just kind of switched to it. You can reduce the times it asks you to sign to this, to sign in, uh, and uh, you can just click this here. All that does is just helps you stay signed in without having to verify all of this over and over again. It remembers that your device and your browser are used. That's what it does. And from here, we're going to select Azure Active Directory. So we're going to go in there. So if you go down here where it says Admin Centers, select Azure Active Directory. And from here, we're going to select Azure Active Directory within it. Now, from here, we have to go scroll down a little bit on, under the overview here and then select Security, obviously. All right, where this because this is part of security to have a multi-factor authentication, and then while we're at security tab or selector uh, security option, I'm sorry, uh, we simply need to look for MFA, and it's right here. We select that, and then we enable it from here. Now I apologize, I did lose uh, some of these licenses access to. The, I had 90-day license for Office 365 for training purposes, and 
you know, you simply go in there and just enable it. And there may be a one or two options in there for you to um, activate. And this will enable multi-factor authentication in Office 365. Here, you know, you can see that I can't do it because I no longer have the license, but it's right here. It's very simple. And then users will be forced to use multi-factor authentication just like I did, uh, just like I had to use it in order to log in to Office 365. So going back to your ticket, you're going to simply have to um, figure out the things that I've mentioned previously, as in, is this something you're going to have to use? If so, you can actually you just select to use multi-factor authentication just for yourself. And that's fine. Um, you can do this for any, uh, pretty much any, you know, website, any uh, software that has this feature enabled. So if it's something that you want to use, you just select, you know, when you, when you try to log in or go to your account, you can enable, you know, multi-factor authentication. So that being said, I don't know which, which software, which website or whatnot you're trying to set up or configure. So I'm going to actually close this ticket, but I will say reply to you. Please set up MFA according to what the system requires. Uh, if now, and, and this is like me as if I'm talking to a customer, but when see, hopefully you watch this, hopefully you watch this. I'm going to say also try all the things I've mentioned in the video. Otherwise you may need to ask your, I'm going to say coworker or supervisor for assistance, mainly because I don't know which system you are using. Otherwise it should be straight forward to enable MFA. And you know, if it's a system, and if it's a system that you're not familiar with, Google it. There's nothing wrong with Googling, you know, what that system is. Uh, just because I don't know which system you're talking about, it doesn't mean that there isn't a solution for it on Google. Google is your friend. Google is your friend. So I'm going to close this one and move on. 